So hello everybody, how are you? It is Power Week. It means that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update. And uh, this time it is for the August 2019. Okay, so what I'm going to review today are groups. And I think they've done a wonderful, wonderful job with this feature, actually. It works more or less like um, PowerPoint, but better. Far better. I'm going to show you. Anyhow, I'm going to show you how, you know, when it works, when it doesn't, and some uh, feedback for improvements. Okay, F from my side, you let me know what you think. Um, here's the thing. If I grab, the, the way to do it is you grab one visual, you get, grab another one, you right click, and I'm right clicking and it's not happening. It's just nothing pops up. This is why you have to go to File, Options and Settings and Options. And you go to report settings, and then you have here use the modern visual header. You have to have that. And you see that when I turn that on, everything moved. Well, I'm not that worried about that anymore because we can group stuff. So then it's easier to move where you want it to be. So now that it's in there, I can right click and the group option appears. Great. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to group. You don't see it, but there is here there's one visual and then there is that ball in there behind and I want to group those. So I want to group each individual box and then I want to group the entire line. I'm going to show you how to do that. And uh, to do that, in my case, the only way is the selection pane. I still recommend you to use the selection pane. It's a great tool for copy pasting and deleting and bulk deleting and bulk copying and all kinds of stuff. So I'm using the selection pane more and more, actually. So what we are going to do is find those elements. So we have today here, and then I have to find the one, in this case, that is below, often it's not. So my first feedback is I would love to be able to, you know, I right click in, in the selection pane to do the grouping. It doesn't allow me. I have to go to the visual pane and group there. And there is a pain, to be honest. I would love to be able to do everything from the selection pane. It just makes more sense, especially when you have a crowded visual like I have in here. So what that does, if you go up into the selection pane, it creates a group. And uh, now we're going to give it a name. I really recommend you to give your groups a name. Now, to name every visual is a lot of work, but now to name the groups is a lot of easier. So now I know that the today elements are in there. It's very easy. My second feedback is that I would love to have, you know, when you are grouping, that it pops up something. I hate pop-ups, but in this case, I think it's necessary. It pops up a, you know, a window that it says, rename and then I can directly rename stuff. I can just start writing today. And then for those that do not want that feature, you know, like in any other program, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, you have a tick box that says, I don't want to see this anymore. So it won't ask you, but I really would appreciate to be able to name things directly. Otherwise you have to go in here, find it, name it, and it just makes the process slower basically. So let's continue. I'm going to go to yesterday, which is in there, and now find the shape. See, where is my shape? Oh, no, there, no, there. So I have yesterday and yesterday. Again, I would love to right click, can't, I have to do it here. I group, and then it goes up there. I have to find it, double click, yesterday. And now I have two. Now, if I want to group these two, I can select from the selection pane again, it's easier. And then I would love to right click, I can't, I'll do it here, group, group, and it creates a nested grouping. So good. Again, I would love to be able to rename it directly because this is current year sessions. And now I open that and I find yesterday and today. That's great. Okay, let's continue with, uh, the next one, week to yesterday, and now I have to find the shape. Where? There, week to yesterday. I have to go here, group, group, completely unintuitive. I go in there, and then week to t 
to yesterday. Now, what I want is to add this week to yesterday to the group that we just created. And this is going to happen all the time. In this case, I could have done everything on the group, everything at the same time, but I just wanted to show you. So how do I do it? And I thought, okay, I get there, you know, select that one and that one and group. And that is not what I wanted. That will create, again, obviously, a nested group, which was not intentional. So to delete the group, I was thinking, right click, delete. No, there's no right click in there. So I have to go here, group and ungroup. And then it will take me back. So I, I, I tried it and said, does it work? Check this out. Yay, you can drag and drop. Hallelujah. So really, 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 really good. And obviously you can drag and drop. There, you cannot do a high group. Um, uh, you have to do it manually, but otherwise I think it's fantastic. How cool is that? So now, now that I have this group, I can select it and then I can move around, move them wherever I want it. Again, if you are not happy to where you move it, you can always go back in there. And I'm guessing that you can align these things, right? Align to the top. Yeah, it works like in any visual. Oh, this is just really good. They've done a fantastic job, except for those two small things. Well, small things. I think the, the, the fact that you have to go to the visual pane to the grouping, I find it quite annoying. But otherwise, it's a, a, it's a fabulous job. It works better than PowerPoint. Maybe it's because I don't know how to do it well in PowerPoint. Who knows? What do you think about the grouping? I think it's absolutely fantastic. So this is all for the grouping into this video. I think the next video is going to be Dax Fridays. It depends on when I publish this, but I'm pretty sure of that. So take care. Let me know what you think about grouping in the comment box. Let me know what you think about the August update altogether. And I will see you again, I think, on Friday. Bye-bye.